it's very nice to have you all here. And you are her mother, and I'm guessing yes. you're a grandmother, right? Oh, yes. I'm Grammy. You're yes. Grammy? Well, because our next guest is has figured out how to cook like Grammy or and to I Grandma. And I was watching him melt the you butter. You were? Oh, was he doing <laughs> it right? Oh, he was, he was doing it right? quite right. All right. Yes, okay, indeed. well, I'm very excited because he is a local chef. I'm going to lay that down in case you have any questions. And you can call him on something if you, if you feel <laughs> I mean. All right. He has written a book, How to Cook Like Your Grandmother, and we want to welcome Drew Kime. Welcome to you. Thank you, Robin. Good to be here. Oh, Watch the ring. gem. Sorry. Watch the gem. That's right. Uh, first of all, I have to ask you, like, whose grandmother? Because my grandmother did, wasn't such a good cook. Well, actually, that's why it's not called How to Cook Like My Grandmother. One uh -huh. passed away when I was yeah. about four. The other one didn't think men belonged in the kitchen. So okay. all right. I pretty much had to pick this up from other people's grandmothers. Oh, all right. Going where no man has gone before. <laughs> yes. Right? Okay. Uh, the cookbook looks really fun. And on the back of it, it's got some great, uh, some great quotes. Um, and I can't... I, uh, Wait a minute. I've made six of these puppies in the last... Let's read that. I've made, especially pies. Your pies save Thanksgiving. I made six of these puppies in the last three weeks, and out of six pies, I think I've managed to snag maybe four slices for myself. Serious well, cl crowd pleasers. Well, that's the one that we're doing today, to okay. a frozen chocolate truffle pie. All right. The filling is basically what you would find in a, a chocolate truffle. Um, before we start, they just made a quick double boiler with a pan of water through the the, uh, the pan on top of it. You it's threw this pan on top of that pan. Right, just okay. make a double boil. I've actually got a double boiler, but this is easier. Exactly. Absolutely. Just use what you have. Right. right. Okay. So that's a stick and a half of butter. Okay. 12 ounces of uh, chocolate. I do a half and half of semi sweet and the, the dark bitter sweet. Do you approve there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Approving. Okay. Right so four egg yolks. Go ahead and mix those in. So what did your friend say when you said you were going to write a cookbook, How to Cook Like a Grandmother? Um, I didn't have the title until I'd been working on it for about yeah. three or four months. And it's, as I was seeing the kind of recipes I was doing, I realized a lot of chefs, they go for presentation. It has to be yeah. very interesting, very big and yeah. fancy. Mine wasn't. That's not how I cook. It's a third of a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of cocoa and dash of salt. Uh, just mix all this together. Mix that together. Um, so as I was looking at what was actually in the cookbook, I realized what it was was it's not fancy food. It's mm -hmm. not what you see at the, the five-star restaurants. It's the things that, like Grandma's Pot Roast. Yeah. You can eat that every week, and you never get tired of it. Yeah. Just put a sprig of parsley on the side, too, and then it'll be like those fancy restaurants. Absolutely. I want to know who, is this your grandmother? Who is this lady? This is someone I found online. I just went looking for pictures. <laughs> I, 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 I love her. Everybody's grandma. I love her. I, 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 her, She's just great. her name is Leola. I contacted Leola? Yeah, it was her grandson who posted the picture online. Uh -huh. I contacted him, asked, Do you think she would mind being on a, a book? She said, Great, send me a copy of it. Really? Really? Now where does she live? Do you know? Um, actually, I don't. It, it's the internet. They live in the internet. Oh, they live on the internet. Okay. I'm so. Last thing here. I love that picture, though. Don't you? Love mom? it. What did his mom say about that? Yeah. Did your mom get upset or any of your family? Did they say, why didn't you use? Um, my mother, I don't have any pictures of her cooking. Okay. So I just... <laughs> She lives in Philadelphia. I couldn't get there to take her. So. My children would have pictures of me going through the drive-thru. <laughs> well, Bringing actually, in the bag from Wendy's. I've heard from so many people. I asked, what would your grandmother make? Well, she'd make a bag of cocktail peanuts and a bottle of Dewar's. So. <laughs> so. And that would be a very short book. It would be a very that short book. That might be the next book, But it would though. be popular. That would be how to drink like your grandmother. <laughs> So, this is just a six egg uh, whites. Drew, you're a good find. You are a good find. This is six egg whites okay. and a dash of cream of tartar. Uh-huh. Just fold it in. Try not to lose the volume from the Yeah, don't eggs. lose the volume. Do not now, lose the volume. I'm going because a little then, fast here. And did you make your own crust? Made my own crust. Look at that, baby, because that's really pretty. So, so what's the secret to a good crust, Grandma? Butter. Butter. Yep. All right. Lots of butter. Lots no of butter. margarine. You agree with that? Yeah. Okay. Margarine's not food. It's actual grease. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's plastic. Oh, margarine's getting a bad uh, rap here. Okay. Well, normally I'd mix this a little yeah. more, but. Oh, well, we hate to have you ruin it because you do have. The... It won't be ruined. It won't. Not at all. Okay. Because that's just the way Grandma rolls. Right? That's the way Grandma rolls. But here is the finished product because you're going to put that in the freezer. I'm going to put this one in the freezer, mm -hmm. but let me just show real oh. quick. All right. 
whipped cream. Now, you can do this. <laughs> Stop it. You can That's do right. this with just a uh, a zip top bag, cut a corner in it, okay. and pipe the uh, stuff on. Excellent. I see, we're getting a signal to speed yes, it up. Yes, so. we got to speed it up. But here is the finish. How long do you leave it in the freezer? About two hours, and that should do it. Look at that. All right, will you uh, will you cut the pie for our uh, guests here? Oh, absolutely. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yes, we need more chocolate. So. Never have too much chocolate. Drew, you are great, and you too can learn how to cook like your grandmother. Yep. We have a copy of Drew's book. He wants to give it away to callers number eight and nine. So two winners there. Two one six five seven eight zero eight eight eight. Good luck to you, Drew. Thank you very much. Thank you. I hope you come back. Will you? Absolutely. All right, and we will be back right after. Yeah.